hello everyone in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can use merge shape option under shape format in microsoft powerpoint over here you can see i have three set of shapes on the left we have this orange rectangle placed above this green rectangle while on the right the order has been reversed and down at the bottom you can see they are placed next to each other but they are not one above another let me perform the union operation on this first pair so I'll select this orange one first, then hold the control key and click on the second shape. Now you can see we have shape format over here. Click over it. And on the left side, you can see we have these options, union, combine, fragment, intersect, and subtract. Let's click on union. And there you go. The two shapes gets fused with each other carrying the style and properties of the first rectangle. Let me show you again. Just check this orange rectangle was selected first and then this green one was selected. So let me go again and click on union and there you go. You can see now this combined shape which is the union of the both the shapes is carrying the style and the properties of the first shape. This time I'm going to select the green one first. Hold the control key and select the orange one as well now go to merge shapes and click on union and there you go you can see the style and the property of the first shape were applied to the resultant shape this means the order of selection matters the most down at the bottom you can see again we have these two shapes but they are not touching each other so let's let's select the orange one first and then the green one go to merge shapes as you know, the one that was selected first, it will carry over its properties to the resultant shape. Click on union and there you go. I'm not going to perform this last operation again. It was just to show you that even if you keep the two shapes just together without touching, what would matter the most is the order of the selection. Whatever shape is selected first, the resultant shape would adopt its properties. Let's see how combined operation works. Again, let me select this first one, then the second one, shape format, click on merge shape, combine, and there you go. In case of combined shapes, the parts that overlapped has been cut out and the rest of the portion got fused into a one shape. You can see it's just a one shape. And again, order of the selection matters. This time I'm going to select the green one, then orange one, merge shape, combine and there you go let's see the fragment option fragment as the name shows create pieces of the set of shapes that are one above another again let me select this one and then the green one click on fragment and there you go let's separate you can see we have got different fragments and let me apply it over here as well shape format click on fragment and you can see this time we have green fragments and there you go let's go to intersect now let me select this shape shape format and intersect what actually intersect do the part of the shape that overlap remains while the rest of the two shapes are erased out click and there you go again only the portion that is common between the two would remain and the rest of the shape would be deleted out select select the second one go to merge shape click on intersect and you can see we have these two shapes with different color simply because we have selected the shapes in different orders let's go to the last one so here we are at the last operation let me select this orange one first and then this green one so what would happen this second shape would be subtracted out of the first shape go to merge click on subtract and there you go this second shape took a part of it with it and only this this elbow shaped rectangle remains because this part that is combined between the two is subtracted out there you go let me select this time the green one then the orange one so what would happen 
the one that was selected last would be subtracted out of the first one. Go again to merge shapes, click on subtract and there you go. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please leave a like, subscribe and thanks for watching.